lesson number three, and we're gonna be doing chest circles. Uh, chest circles can be done to any of the sides. Um, I just woke up, so I'm gonna stretch a little bit because <laughs> I felt a little stiff. Um, but they can be done to any of the sides, wrist, right? And they can be done slow, really, really gentle, or you can speed them up depending what you're doing for your choreography. So if you haven't watched my lesson one and two on how to do a chest lift and how to do a chest uh, slide, I recommend that you go and watch those first because your chest circles is going to be a combination of those. Okay, so you're gonna think that you're like in a box and you're gonna hit front, side, back, and left. Or you can think it as a combination of um, chest lift, chest slide, chest drop, chest slide, right? Because we're doing those four points with our rib cage, and then from there smoothing out so that it doesn't look like, um, I mean, you can also do a box just like this, depending on what you're doing, but this lesson is for a chest circle, so you're smoothing it out. So position is going to be the same as for every other belly dance thing. You want your, both of your feet like grounded, so your heels are never gonna be like lifted and you have most of the weight to your back, um, to, towards the heels, not towards the toes. Your knees need to be soft, not bent, but just soft. Um, so that it unlocks your hip bone. If you have your knees straight and you're trying to do your circle, it's going to feel hard and you're going to feel out of, out of balance because you're locking your hip when you lock your knees. So right before locking those knees, just soften them, right? And your tailbone is gonna be relaxed, not overly lifted, not super tucked in, just relax, just gently pointing down, just gently, so that you can open up space for your spine to lengthen and so that your ribcage can go around. Because your hips are attached, so when your hip bone is overly lifted, your, your spine becomes already arch. So that means when it becomes arch, your ribcage is already lifted. So then it's hard also to do your circle if you're if your lower part of your spine, your sacrum, your hips are lifted. So that's why we don't do this. Also, if it's overly tucked in, it's so hard also to lift your rib cage if your tailbone is super tucked in. So that's why it's kind of like neutral, right? I hope you're able to see that. It's a very mild movement. All right, so you can begin with your hands and your hips. I think it's a lot easier for a beginner because you're having somewhere to hold on to, right? So I just do kind of like, <laughs> right? Like your thumbs in the back and your hips, so you're holding here. So don't put them very high, just keep them on your low hip. And you're gonna lift up your chest. Remember that I told you, watch the chest lifts. And while it's lifted, you're going to glide it to one side. Now you're going to tuck in your, remember, you gotta watch those, those tutorials because I don't want you to slouch, it's not slouching. You're gonna tuck in your rib cage and tucked in, you're gonna move it to the other side. And then you start again. Lift, glide, tuck, glide, or slide. Lift, slide, tuck, slide. And then you smooth out those corners, right? I'm gonna show you from the side here. We're gonna lift, where can you see? <laughs> lift, glide, tuck, glide. Lift, glide, tuck, glide. And then you smooth out, right? Notice that the shoulders are remaining in place, meaning you know, you, you might see a little bit of movement because my body's attached to it, right? But what I mean is, it's not doing this, okay? Don't get confused. We're not doing this. And the movement comes from your rib cage, or if you wanna think of your boobs, whatever helps you better, right? Um, I remember teaching my students like, <laughs> as if they were holding pencils here and you're trying to draw a circle, right? So it kinda feels like that. 
but um, I like better to teach it because I love anatomy. So you're gonna do your rib cage up, glide, tuck back, and then soften. Same thing to the other side. Let's try it to the other side. Lift, slide, tuck, slide. Lift, slide, tuck, slide. Now smooth out. Right? I recommend that you start really, really slow with this so that your brain and body can connect exactly what you're doing before trying to do it fast. Right? Um, you can also start letting one hand out to the side and then bolt without hands so that you learn to move this, isolate these muscles without relying on your hands or holding here. So let's just try it. We, we're going to do um, two circles with, that was my dog if you heard, two, dog, two, two dogs, two circles with my hands here, two circles here, two circles this hand, two circles out, and then we do the other side, okay? So five, six, seven, start from the front, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, drop hand, one, two, shift hands, one, two, both hands down, one, two. Good, let's switch to the other side now, starting from the front, going down. Side five, six, seven, eight. one, two, arm out, one, two, other arm, one, two, both arms, both hands up, one, two. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. If you are looking for more lessons, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be dropping more than 30 lessons. I'm gonna be dropping everything that I know so that you guys can learn and start practicing and doing your choreography. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.